Google has a free speech problem. Which has brought me out of hibernation. I have been an advocate of Google for a long time, and I still am an advocate of Google. I don't, I feel their pain. I feel YouTube's pain. I feel the responsibility of doing the right thing. What would the right thing be? And I always say the path of least resistance should always be understood. And if we're going against the path of least resistance, we should have a good understanding of why we think we're going against that path. What is the model that YouTube and Google should take when it comes to advertising? What is the least evil thing to do? Evil means harm in this case. Doing harm and knowing you do harm. Now at this point, Google doesn't know what harm is. They're not sure what will cause the most harm. I want to remind them that there is more than a few voices out there. And maybe it would be better not to decide who gets a voice and who doesn't. And one way you can do this is by saying no to at and By saying no to those that want to choose whom they want to advertise with. Give them a choice. If you would like to sponsor individual creators, then by all means, sponsor individual creators. But if you simply want to use an AdSense ad advertising, then we won't give you a choice. And yes, your videos, we guarantee your advertising will be on ISIS videos. We guarantee they'll be on right supremacist movie. We guarantee that they will show up on objectionable content. But here's the thing. We at Google, we at YouTube, we at Alphabet believe in free speech more than we believe in your right to censor free speech. That would be a philosophical reason not to censor those channels. I tried to think about how you would go about being fair. And in the end, there really is no way to be fair. Not if you're a free speech advocate. I can't decide who gets a voice and who doesn't. Who gets paid and who doesn't. Who decides is who watches the video? If people watch the videos, they decide what content gets rewarded and what content does not. If they're not breaking the law, you don't get to decide. Google doesn't want to decide. You don't want that issue on your table. You will lose in the end. It will take time, but you will lose in the end. Alternatives will emerge, like Minds.com, who won't make the anti-free speech position. It's tempting. You want to give your advertisers what they want. They are the customers, but they're not the customers you need to care about. You need to think long term. You need to think where you're going to be in 20 years. What is YouTube becoming? What kind of platform do you want it to represent? Do you want it to resent, resemble China? Do you want it to resemble Russia? Iran? Or perhaps, maybe, you would like YouTube to represent the values of the United States, the country that gave you the opportunity to create Google, YouTube, and all the other letters of the alphabet in the alphabet company. I want you to seriously consider where your roots are and who you represent. I think you want to represent the country that gave you your start. Now, I understand you need to listen to everyone on the planet and understand you're an international company. But do you really believe that we're wrong about free speech? 
Because when you look at it, when I look at it, and I see that you are afraid to stand strong with free speech, I think you're ashamed of the country you came from. Why are you ashamed of the country you came from? Stand strong with us. Stand strong. Tell at and all everyone or no one, you don't get to decide. The customer gets to decide what they want. And if they're watching, your ad money will go towards whatever they're watching. Because everyone should be treated the same, regardless of the content they create. If they're not breaking the law, if they're not breaking the law, then they're free to create the content that they want. Step back from your user agreement and look carefully at who you are as a company, who you are as individuals. Do you really want to be the censors in society? Do you really want that responsibility? It's your choice. It's not my choice. I can only tell you what I would do. Thanks for watching.